G'day legend, today I am going to show you how to set up a Lightroom catalog on your external hard drive. It's super crucial to get it onto your external hard drive because by default Lightroom will save it onto your computer's hard drive and over time it stores up an enormous amount of information and it can clog up your hard drive on your computer which will in turn cause your computer to run a lot slower once your computer hard drive gets over half full it slows down and you'll be processing your pictures a lot slower so it is important to not only save your raw images onto your external hard drives but also these Lightroom catalogs so for years when Lightroom first came out I got onto it straight away I was in the early 2000s and I didn't know that there was such a thing as a Lightroom catalog and it was all just in the background. All this information was getting saved onto my computer's hard drive and after a while it really built up and clogged up my computer's hard drive. So when I discovered this, I then found out once my computer got full up and I didn't know why because I wasn't saving any of my photos to my actual computer's hard drive. I always had external hard drives. But these catalogs, they just get full of information. What these Lightroom catalogs are is basically the data that goes with your raw files. So all that your, your adjustments that you make aren't getting saved with the raw file. They're getting saved into these Lightroom catalogs. By default, they're going to your hard drive on your computer. You want them to go to your external hard drive. Once I started doing when they onto my external hard drives, well, that's when things improved because I wasn't clogging up my hard drive. But also... When you're saving it with your photos, so these external hard drives I'm changing over every couple of months because I'm filling them up, but the Lightroom catalog is then married to the, the external hard drive that's got the actual pictures. And the advantage of that is if I want to take out this external hard drive and then run it in my other Mac computer or on a friend's computer or take it to another computer elsewhere, all of my settings from my Lightroom are saved with the actual images that are on there. So that's another big advantage and that's another reason why you should be doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the simple procedure on setting it up. So we'll go into our Lightroom program and because I've got, I haven't got my old hard drive plugged in, I've only just plugged in my brand new hard drive. When I open up Lightroom, it says, choose a different catalog, use a default catalog or quit. The default catalog would be saving onto your hard drive. So we're going to choose a new catalog. And yeah, once again, it's got that default. It wants to save it onto my hard drive. So it's by default, it wants to go straight to my computer's hard drive. We don't want to do that. We don't want to choose a different catalog because this is a brand new hard drive without anything on it. We want to create a new catalog. We go to our hard drive, which I've named April 2023. I'm going to call this Lightroom cat and the date April 2023 so then it matches up with my hard drive so I know which catalog it is married to and then it wants to save as a name once again I just put LR for short for Lightroom uh, catalog April 2023 and go create it will open up Lightroom and now any photos that I import and all the photos that I do corrections on will be saving into the catalog that is on my new external hard drive. So if I want to switch back to one of my old hard drives to get some old photos off it, I can plug that in. And at the moment, Lightroom set up to go to my new one, but I can go, once my new hard drive is plugged in, I can go file in Lightroom, open catalog, and I select my November 2022 and I've already made a Lightroom catalog folder. I go to November catalog and I keep opening folders until I get that Lightroom catalog that's able to open. I open that and then it will ask me to relaunch Lightroom. When I open the Lightroom back up, it'll relaunch with my older pictures and you can see up the top here, it's got which catalog it's using. So November 2022, Lightroom catalog. So that's my older hard drive. If you want to switch back to your new hard drive, you can just go open catalog or you can go into open recent even and it sees all the catalogs that you've got. So you've got the one that I made just, just before, which is Lightroom catalog April 2023 off my new one. 
that's the default one that it's been made that's made on your hard drive. We won't use that. And there's the one that we're currently using. So that is how you set up your Lightroom catalog. So all your images are getting saved on your hard drive and not clogging up your computer. That's how you do it. Any questions, let me know. Thanks for tuning in today. And if you are interested in tuning into any of my workshops, I'll leave the links below so you can find out about my Confident Photography course as well as my Water Photography course. And more courses are getting released all the time. Just message me with the information or check out the links below and we'll see you in the next video.